The largest Somali community in the United States is here in Minnesota, especially in the Twin Cities and this metro area. We are part of the community as American citizens and we, feel, we were feeling like we didn't get our full rights yet because part of our full rights is the Adhan of the Salah or prayer. These are the covers I always, you know, when we have rain in and then we come up, you know, just... That one up there is... It's senior, senior high rise, yeah. The tall one. This one is kind of really facing them. So they can hear from here, there, so they hear it. Adan is in Arabic, linguistically it means uh, announcing publicly to everyone that the time of the prayer has come. So the city has approved, but for us as a mosque, we would like to actually uh, buy new systems and sound systems. And the process would be also like to inform the neighborhood, engage with them and inform them about the decision so that we actually want to do the, the, the Adan in public where the neighbors are also aware of that. And we hope that through calling the Adan public, it would actually uh, bring more interest from the neighbors in knowing about the religion of Islam. And I've seen it, I went to a community party the other day and there were Somali families, there were Haitian families, Latino families, all gathered and I gave a prayer, the Somali mother gave a prayer in Arabic, you know, and, and someone else said something, but, and they didn't know each other's language, but they knew that they were there for a common commitment to their community. I know that it's a little bit complicated because of the society and all of these things, but I hope that it's going to be, you know, reconsidered and the people understand it and then become so little loudly that I can hear. It.